you just saw hyper knife fighting systems likes to do for some reason they think that that is how you're going to knife fight uh, we're going to show you at extremely close distance for camera purposes only how ridiculous that is so so if uh, mark is doing that again if he's doing all this why would I be this close? I would not be this close. Okay, that's a fault. You would not be this close. But why am I going to allow him to do that? Why would I follow? What they think I'm going to do is watch him. <laughs> I'm going to watch him, then he's going to attack me. In reality, if he's starting to do all that stuff, if he's starting to do that, I'm coming, I'm coming in. That was a stab there. Or I'm going to, or I'll come in. This will definitely stop him from his motion. Or I'm giving... Uh, several solutions here. If he started to do that, I'm going to come in down the 12 o'clock line, which is going to stop anything he's going to do. He's not going to move forward on me. Plus, in reality, uh, a real knife fighter, I'm going to be here with him. He's not going to be able to do this coming because he's he's going to be scared of being impaled, as he should be. And that's how the Spanish uh, won a lot of duels. So we use a system that is a combination of many knife fighting blade systems around the world, including the Bowie system, including the Spanish system. So you got to realize that people are teaching you a knife fighting system. Who have they fought with another knife? And once again, they're using a short blade. For a knife against knife encounter, you would not be using a short blade. Why would I? You know, the most common thing for military is a five to seven inch blade uh, utility fighting knife. Then we're using what you're going to use in the military, so it's a five to seven inch blade. He is not going to win. There's a lot of things that are wrong here. One, when he's starting to do this, he doesn't. He's not concerned about his <coughs> protection of his hand. Once again, that's my easiest route. If I get him on the hand, I have no worries, and I am not going to do anything but go for the hand. To tell you the truth, also he's not considering my attack. He's only considering me watching him. That's a big error. He's, I'm going to watch him. I'm going to watch him do all these moves. And then he's suddenly going to uh, knife me out of nowhere. It's not going to happen. This is a mortal combat situation. I'm going to be focused on getting him. I'm just going to watch for where the openings are. There's plenty of openings. There's, I just cut him. That was one. I'm going to cut him here, cut him here, cut him here, cut him here. I can just do that at a distance. That's what I would do. I would be hacking his hand, and he's that's it. He's going to give up his attack, and then, then I've got him completely. I don't have to go into him. I don't have to go into him at all. So that's just pointing out some of the flaws and faults. If you don't think those are flaws and faults, and that you think that that can actually work against people who know how to actually knife fight, then I invite you to come train with us and show us how you think that's going to work against us, because I guarantee you it won't. And if you can make it work, you get free training, and you won't. And if you uh, fail, which you will, then you have to sign up and train with us, okay? So follow the link below this and go to our website, fluentfighting.com or combat-judo.com. Get more information how to fight in...